All right, guys, we're back for another uh, practice problem involving neutralization reactions. Uh, if you look at this one, notice that we've got a weak acid and a weak base. I want you to also notice that, once again, they gave us a base that does not contain a hydroxide. So that should tell you automatically we're not going to make what? That's right, we're not going to make water. So just keep that in mind when we're doing this problem. No hydroxide, we can't make water. Now, also, with us dealing with a weak base and a weak acid, uh, when we get ready to write the ionic and anionic equations, we cannot dissociate the weak acid and the weak base. Now, of course, for scratch work purposes, I'm going to show the uh, breakdown of ions of my acid. I'm not going to show it on my base, and I'll explain that when we get started. Okay, so let's label everything. We've got this weak base, which is CH3, NH2. And that's my weak base. And I've got this uh, weak acid, vinegar, you know, uh, acidic acid. I've got HC2H3O2, weak acid. Yields what? Well, I don't know. I, I, I don't have uh, uh, water that I can make, so I need to look at some ions. So let's do our scratch work. SW. Uh, now for uh, my purposes and your purposes, just remember that when you have a weak base, don't even break it down into ions. Don't even worry about showing um, its lone pairs that it's going to have on the nitrogen. Just uh, just do it the way that I do it, and it'll it'll help you figure out your products pretty quickly. Okay. So I'm just going to write down my base CH3, NH2. Plus, but I'm going to break my acid down so we can look at it. H plus 1 and acetate ion. H, uh, C2H3O2 negative 1. Now, remember, acids are hydrogen donors. Bases are hydrogen acceptors. Meaning they're, acids are proton donors and bases are proton acceptors. They want them. So basically, I'm going to circle my H plus 1, draw an arrow, and I'm going to attach it to the end down here, uh, which is to my nitrogen. Remember, nitrogen has a lone pair of electrons. It's a point of acceptance of another hydrogen. Okay. Now, after that, that gives us the following. That gives us CH3, NH3, with a positive 1 charge. Now, if that goes on to this, just like it did in the previous problem that we had earlier, then that leaves this acetate ion just floating around. Now, that's nice because we can clearly see that these two opposite charges are going to attract and come together. And it's going to make one ugly looking product. <laughs> it's going to make CH3, NH3, and this all together with it, C2. H3O2. It doesn't have to be pretty, it just has to be right. Now this thing is balanced and we're good. So let's write the complete. And the complete is that again, just balanced. And luckily for us, this one's already balanced. So my complete is the CH3, NH2, and HC2H3O2 yields that ugly product, which is CH3, NH3, C2, H3, O2. It's balanced. All right, now let's get the total ionic. Now, remember, you cannot dissociate weak acids or weak bases. So you just write these back down again. The only one that we can dissociate is the product because it's an acetate ion, so it's soluble. That's where all the scratch work at the top comes in handy. Now, your net ionic will also look identical to the ionic. That's what happens when you have a weak acid and a weak base you're going to have identical parts. That's true unless your weak base contains hydroxide. So I'm just going to rewrite this 
up here and that will be my net that way you've seen that I've written it and you're not confused now if you are confused that's okay just watch the video uh, a few times or several times however many times you need to to get it into your head what you just saw uh, it's not as bad as what it looks it's just really ugly looking because it's so long <laughs> but anyway just remember though that if this happens on the ionic and uh, net ionic equations where they're identical your spectator ion uh, you don't have any there's no spectator ions here because you couldn't cancel anything out so alright guys I hope this helps Just watch it over and over and over and hopefully you'll get it